Good afternoon. It is October the 12th, 2016. Time to wrap it up today. Uh, we came in this morning wanting to sell the 3537 area and buy the 2527 area. So that was our buy zone. This was our sell zone. Uh, produced a couple of good trades on either side. Uh, the market was pretty much over on those two moves right there. Just kind of sat there. Uh, over lunch, we said the next move would be higher. Retest this high right here and or take it out. And that's what's happened. So uh, the seller, uh, we said 21.40. Uh, if we couldn't take out and hold 21.40, uh, that the market could still sell. So pretty good assessment of what we had uh, going for us in today's market. Well before the fact, I might add. F1 screen on the E-mini, inside day, trading range, that usually implies a trading range tomorrow. Looking at the F2 screen, uh, leans P. Uh, what do we have in a P in a down market? Short covering. Uh, to get a trend day up, it takes short covering and new buying. That's usually associated with news. So uh, 39 to 41, sell 1. Uh, 44, 46, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, last rotate down was 33, so 30, 32 by 1, 25, 27 by 2. Tomorrow's news, jobless claims, 254. Import-export prices up a tenth each. Natural gas inventories were up 80 BCF last week. Probably have a pretty good uh, build again this week. Uh, due to the uh, mild seasonal temperatures across the United States thing. We'll have crude inventories at 11. So uh, not much in the way of news to move the markets tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow's the 30-year auction for treasuries. Uh, I think they'll take it higher to try to move that paper. Certainly won't take it lower. So worst case scenario will be a trading range. The F1 screen, lower high, lower low. Look for a place to sell it. The market has been selling. On the F2 screen, uh, I had a P down beneath. Got a P right now, so perhaps we can trade it higher tomorrow. I think they will. That's the side I like. So resistance is 28 to the buck. And then 3 to 7 for sell 2. On the buy side, uh, 17 to 21. And then 9 to 13 for buy 2. And if the E mini crashes tonight, it doesn't look like it will. Uh, might have to pay up, might have to pay 24s, 25s to get into the market. Okay, looking at the 30 year. Had a B. The knob spread was coming in this morning. Uh, it actually, in the words, started out and came back up into the close. Uh, so we've got resistance at 4 to 8. So 11 to 15, sell 1. 23, 27, sell 2. It's going to lean against where resistance is, up above. Uh, down below, um, 24, 28, number one, buy 17s to 21s, buy one. I do like the market tomorrow because of the auction. Buy two, 9 to 13.
a gold. Lower high, lower low, still trying to sell. So 1250 is a pretty big number. I think we uh, will we'll see that. Um, our buy is going to be 1250, 1252. Give ourselves a little room. Kind of where we've been the last couple of days, 45, 47 for buy two. On the sell side, 58 to 60. 64, 66 for sell two. Didn't make much progress to the downside today, but we caught both sides of the market really, really well. And it was just a range trade when it was all said and done. Crude oil. Um, tonight, if they draw... Uh, and the API number they'll expect to draw on tomorrow's EIA numbers. And um, they have been drawing down inventories over the last couple of days. Uh, we did have news today that uh, um, I got something wrong with my software. I think I've got one that's still open. The other day. Hope not. I was trading from the charts, and I frequently make mistakes on that one. Lower high, lower low. Find a place to sell it on the F1 screen. F2, definitely a B. So this 50 area right here, the 50, I think, is as long as we can trade above 50, this market can still trade higher. Um, so right now, 50, 50, 50, 75, sell one. 51 even, 51 and a quarter, sell two. On the buy side, 49.75, 50 by one. And buy two would be 49 and a quarter, 49.50. I think there's a pretty good chance, especially with a little help, a little somebody coming out of OPEC saying that, hey, we're going to make the deal in November. What are you worried about? And like I said, that's one way to support prices and keep them where you want them without actually having to do anything. My guess is they're going to have a hard time doing whatever they say they're going to do in November. Because they always have a hard time doing what they say they're going to do. Unless overproducing. They don't have any trouble overproducing. Producing above. Lower low. Lower high, lower low. Euros pointed lower. And the F2 screen, definitely a B. Uh, so right now we're at uh, 42, so uh, 60 to 70, sell one. 90 to the buck, sell two. On the buy side, uh, 1025, buy one. And 110 even by two. Okay, that's it for this October the 12th, 2016. I will see you bright and early in the morning. You all have a great evening.